Hey guys, so I wanted to just go over a quick few always in days. You know, again, I'm just looking over always in. So I'll start with here. Big gap down, so probably going to rally to the moving average. Always in long above bar one, not a great buy because you may go sideways and fall below bar one. 80% chance you will. So always in bulls get out below this bar. Always in bears can sell. Tight trading range, probably going higher. But the bulls are not strong. The bulls need to get this for a lot of traders to stay long. Always Big gap down, so it is always short technically. Three consecutive bear bars, odds favor a second leg down. Probably a trading range day even if we go above bar one, so a lot of bulls will be less interested in buying high. So starting to go down but getting dojis and probably have to go sideways for a few bars. You don't have to get out of long shorts above this bar, but you can. Low one short. Uh, sell climax. We hadn't touched the moving average. We probably will at some point today. We're far below it. So reasonable to get out of shorts below this bar. If not, you get out above here. A lot of bulls will buy. This low for a scalp, it's a bad short. Always in, always in bears get out. Always in bulls get long. Two small legs up, arguably. You know, strong enough. Three bars, probably at least a small second leg. Probably will have to touch the moving average. So you don't have to get out of shorts there. Three consecutive bull bars, probably going a little bit higher. I'd get out of shorts below here. Here, uh, it's a wedge. Three pushes up. One, two, three. It's a double top. You always have to be concerned that maybe we get a double top. Measure move down. But again, only 40% chance. At the moving average, though, which was my target originally. So you will find some sellers. So body's getting uh, smaller. So mega have to go sideways. Probably going a little bit lower. Not really a great, it's not a great buy above. Always in bears get short. Always in bulls get out. Bears get short. Um, while I would not buy, it's reasonable to get out of short. It's two legs down, bottom of a trading range. The bulls will try for a major trend reversal. Bear trend, trend line break, double bottom. So I'd get out of shorts above that. Aggressive bulls can buy. Maybe a stop below, but it's not all that great. Surprise bar. Going at, probably going at least a little higher, so strong enough breakout, you get a second leg. Always in long, stop below the bar or here. Follow through. Is this the second leg up? Pro, you know, it might be. Uh, you can get out of shorts. I don't think you have to. It's a perfect test of a, of a double top. So, you know, I don't, I don't think it's that great of a short. So you can hold. Uh, I don't think it really matters which one you do. But it didn't trigger, so, you know, arguably a lot of, I, I guess I'd probably get out below the bar, but you didn't trigger, so another example why you short below the bar and wait for it to trigger or get out. Sometimes it's best to get out. When you get a bar that closes on its low, a lot of bulls will buy aggressively trying to prevent it from triggering because if you think about it, the more, it's kind of like this rally. We get a rally, but then we get a stop entry that triggers. Well, a lot of traders will sell here and use a really wide stop and they'll sell more higher so when you get this stop entry and then you get another stop entry it increases the chances that you're going to get back to it so more traders become confident in selling since this didn't trigger a lot of traders wouldn't sell so it's increasing the chances that we go higher and you won't have as many scale in traders so strong enough rally testing the high of the day probably going above it so still always in long you know, I, you can get out of shorts below that bar. I'd probably get out of shorts. It's a double top. You're at the target. Probably not going much higher. Strong breakout. So, surprise. Uh, I don't know. I probably wouldn't buy. It is always in long. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to buy high. Strong follow through. You can probably buy for at least a small second leg up. So, you know, if you didn't take profits quickly, I'd get out of shorts below here. I'd get out of longs. Aggressive bear self. Consecutive bear bars at the moving average. Probably strong enough for at least a small second leg. But we're outside down, so this may be the second leg down. Small bull bar, I'd get out of shorts below, um, above. And, you know, I wouldn't buy necessarily. Consecutive bull bars, three consecutive bull bars, probably buyers. It's probably back to always a long stop below here. Big bull bar surprise, probably at least a second leg up. Possible second leg. 
you know, do you get out below that? I wouldn't. It's a doji, lots of bull bars, it's kind of forming a tight channel. And you have to be thinking about the potential. You know, we're already probably above the target. We just went above it here. So we have an open gap here. But strong enough rally, so probably going a little bit higher. I get out shorts below that bar. You know, we're just channeling up and probably going to pull back. So we're at the moving average. Four consecutive bear bars, I don't want to buy above. I'd rather wait for a stop entry. I still don't want to buy that. Pretty much the end of the day, so I'd probably just let it go. Next day, doji, probably going sideways. Uh, bear breakout, would I sell? I would not, I'd rather see follow through. You know, maybe if we get another big bear bar like this, I'll sell. I, I'm, I'm pretty neutral in the day. So, you know. Maybe forming it. one of the difficulties with this. While I think we're going to rally, uh, we formed a channel, and what we don't know is channels evolve to trading ranges. So this is probably going to form a trading range, but what we don't know is if this will be the bottom of the trading range. Will this be the bottom? Will this be the bottom? Or if this is the bottom, and maybe this is the bottom. And when you form this, you get a lot of bull bars. Bulls are making money below. The issue though is. It's very tri it's very easy to get trapped into these into buying above buying above these aren't great buys, so I would wait. But I don't like to sell when you get this. It's kind of like this. I don't like to buy when you get this because the odds are just so high. At some point you're going to pull back, and you know you have to be you have to be suspicious. Um, we, we're we're still going down, so starting to get a lot of bear bars in here. So may get a bear breakout. Okay, you had the bear breakout. This is why it's so dangerous, by the way, to be buying and scaling in. You know, you, you buy this low, you scale lower, scale lower, and eventually you just get trapped. So you have to be open. You know, and again, this is kind of a few things. Let me just point a few things out real quick. So I said this is channels of all the trading ranges. Major, higher, low will probably get tested and will probably fall below it. So when you're this close to it, do you really think we're not going to fall below this higher low? That's the problem. So at this point, you know, traders are saying, okay, we're price is at 36. This higher low is at 31. Are we really not going to fall five points lower? We probably will. So breaking strongly below, probably it's a strong enough breakout odds favor, at least a small second leg. We may fall for a measured move, maybe for this. Bears ultimately hope it's this, and then we get a new, you know, that we get a new low that we fall below the prior day's low. Okay, three consecutive bear bars. Strong statement by the bears. It's sell to close. It was really sell to close here. You know, the bodies are getting smaller. Excuse me, they're getting bigger. So odds favored at least a second leg down. And that's part of the reason why this happened. I said odds favored a second leg. So traders sell because they know it's kind of like this. Traders are buying because they know the first reversal is going to fail. Traders are selling because they know the first reversal up is going to fail. Okay, big bull bar, but again, you know, some bulls will get out, but I don't think you really have to. Okay, this could be the this could be the second leg down. Do traders get out here? Uh, you can. I'd probably get out. It's 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 probably exhaustion, and we're low in the range, so probably not going much lower. I'd take profits. I wouldn't necessarily buy. I'd rather I'd like to see more buying pressure. But one thing you have to be aware of is this low is reasonable to buy. It's a um, well. So I fix this. Ever since I got a smaller computer, I have a Surface Pro, and when I got it, I was questionable if I'd like it in terms of screen size, but I actually like it more. I used to have a 17 inch just Dell Windows computer. Uh, it's a great computer, but uh, you know, traveling around with it. They're just day-to-day, -day, you know, carrying it around. It's kind of a pain, and I really like this. But anyways, sometimes it's hard to move. Uh, uh, this Since the screen's smaller, it's sometimes it's hard to click on things like trend lines. But anyways, like I said, I'd get out of shorts above, and I wouldn't buy. Strong bull bar, probably going at least to the target, so you probably can buy. It's always in long. Probably the first reversal down will fail. Decent follow-through, so... Probably again, first reversal down will fail. Consecutive bull bars, uh, you know, tight channel. Odds are my this will be a minor reversal and we'll have to go sideways. So it's not really all that great to buy, but odds are that you'll get a you'll get a small second leg up. 
okay that might be the second leg so we had buy the close traders took profit so some traders will get out below that bar and this is exactly why you know like i said it's it's minor so are we back to always in short probably in the sense that we'll get a small second leg down but we may just pull down to here i don't know it's not really all that great to be short down here this is strong enough that even if we fall below we'll probably go sideways and there you go we had a second leg so just like this it's, it's difficult both ways if you're buying up here it's probably going to form a trading range so you you know the range isn't we're not going that much higher so and it's the first time we've been above the moving average all day so even if we you know it's not great to buy and put a stop down here so anyways it's the last day I'll, I'll review and I gotta go in a second but just like down here not great to be selling so we had a small tried to get a second leg and here we had a small second leg and went down so let me just kind of review this from a broader perspective because I gotta go in just a second but anyways it's a tight channel um, do bulls buy above it I don't think it's big risk so it's not really a great buy it's also probably minor tight channel so any bull that did buy would get out of shorts below this bar aggressive bears they sell this close I wouldn't sell at a new low but odds are you'll find buyers and then really through here not great always then a lot of traders are selling below bars uh, you know some will buy above but when it goes sideways they get out of break even so really not great always in trading here uh, you know do bulls buy above here maybe three pushes down but these bars are big risks so here you don't want to buy because it's consecutive it's kind of like this you don't want to buy here it's a small bar at following big bear bars so probably will fail outside up big risk so the bigger the risk the lower the probability lower this probability same thing here big you know small bar three consecutive bear bars low probability small risk and then it goes outside up so it's big risk you know arguably some traders will buy above but it's really not great big bar so big risk here you know we went outside up smaller risk so it's a reasonable buy but strong rally this could be a double top and a bear flag so bears bears will go short bulls get out and then we sell off for pretty much the rest of the day so then we got the double top bear flag consecutive sell climaxes uh, if bulls get out here they get short again uh, not a great place to get out but if they get out they get short again and then we sell it off the rest of the day all right comment all right comment below if you have any questions thanks for watching